This question requires knowledge of the inverse square law. So if you've got a, a single point transmitter, which is what we've got to assume for this question, the, uh, the radiation is being emitted in all directions evenly from that, almost as though a balloon is inflating. And as the balloon inflates, the surface area of that balloon increases. So the intensity of the radiation in that, in the, within that sphere gets smaller and smaller as the radiation increases. And that's the inverse square law, which tells us that the power is proportional to 1 divided by the square of the distance you are away from the source. So we, we can use proportionality again here to say that P equals a constant divided by D squared. So let's just work with P1 and D1 to start with. So rearrange that to get K equals P1 D1 squared. where P1 was 20 watts and D1 was 100 so that's 100 squared and that will, which will give you 200,000 or 2 times 10 to the power of 5 and that is our constant so now let's think about P2 so P2 must be equal to the same constant divided by D2 the distance second distance squared. Uh, we're interested in what d2 is so let's rearrange that to get d2 equals constant so d2 squared equals a constant divided by p2. We know that that constant is 2 times 10 to the power of 5. We know that p2 is our new power here which is 1 milliwatt so 1 times 10 to the minus 3 which will give you 2 times 10 to the 8 as, as d2 squared. So d2 is going to be the square root of 2 times 10 to the 8. Or well, the square root of 10 to the 8 is going to be 10 to the 4. So that gives us 10 to the 4 root 2. Uh, meters, which is going to be the same as saying 10 to the 1 root 2 kilometers which matches with answer C 10 root 2